Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you from Arcadia Economics. And yes, it is the big day. It's time to go uh, see the CFTC, see if I can get any answers there. <laughs> I tried calling this morning. Didn't seem to go too well with that. Um, but a few quick notes. This is going to be a short one. Trust me, I'll, you'll, there'll be plenty of coverage today. Don't worry. There's a big movie coming your way in about 70 minutes uh 11 o'clock so while i'm uh seeing if there's anyone who can answer questions about the silver market anywhere in washington you'll have some entertainment and if you liked what you saw last night <laughs> let's wait to see what's coming next so a uh, few quick notes before we uh you know people complaining i'm late for stuff well it's 9 50 so i'm gonna make this quick and then uh walk on over I have a message from one person who's going to meet us there. I know I do. Who else will be there? Not really important. I'm happy to meet anyone who comes by. Hoping someone from the CFTC will be there um, because their customer service, I got to say, is pretty darn poor. I mean, when you call and say that you publicly accuse them of fraud, the receptionist was not pleasant. And here, look at Rostin Benham's Twitter feed. Congratulations to CFTC Chair Gary Gensler on his Senate confirmation. So, oh, I got first comment. Um, do you think Gary will ignore massive evidence of fraud at the SEC like he did with the CFTC? Grafton thinks so. Uh, look, there's, you know, <laughs> I may be cornering the market share on this one, but look at all these comments. Do they see any of these? Do they care? I know you can ignore it. See, I don't know. I mean, I'm just me. I've formed a staff now because people believe in what I'm doing, but I check my Twitter feed as much as possible. I mean, these guys were paying their, you're their boss. They don't answer their boss. Here, look at this. Stig Silver Squeeze. Do your job in the manipulated market or face jury for partaking in the act. Y'all are useful as horse shit. It's the, the comments on Rostin Benham who launched the silver investigation. Here's the people you're supposed to protect, Rosty. All right, check it. Check any of them. See if anybody's giving you giving. I understand they don't they don't get why people are pledging money they go hard to work for. We'll see if we can answer these questions. Although last, uh, thanks, let me just make sure I have the sound. Last one, and then we're gonna get rolling. I thought this was. Uh, Pretty fitting. And I'll see if I can get an answer from anyone today. Well, here we go. Very clear so that investors know what they're getting involved in. And quite frankly, that there are going to be certain individuals who shouldn't be trading in our market yet, or at least. Certain individuals who shouldn't be trading in the market. I'm going to confirm with my lawyer, although I did uh, on a recorded line, which I publicly stated, I called Goldman Sachs, asked for their commentary. I got to leave a message for my man, Jeff. What a... Crossing off bucket list moments. At least if, at least if, at least if who I am, what a big fan I am. So anyway, going to wrap up movie time coming at 11. Going to do some interviews today. We'll be, we'll be sharing it for a while. American citizen. I'm just trying to report the fraud, you know, <laughs> see if anyone in Washington cares. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for everybody's support and uh, we'll check back in soon.